Hello everybody, Realm Builder Guy here, and welcome back to the channel, and welcome back to the Roos here on Crusader Kings 3. So first of all, I want to apologize for kind of the break in between videos. Uh, things have been a little bit hectic here for me lately, just with work travel, and then on top of that, my wife and I are expecting our third child here really any day now at this point, so there's been a lot to get to. So, uh, I apologize for that, but this series is, of course, continuing. Uh, beyond that, I want to thank everybody that's been watching and liking, commenting, and all of the new subscribers to the channel. It's been overwhelming the last couple of weeks uh, just because I've been so uh, busy, haven't been able to do a ton. Like I see, there's only been one more video since then. Uh, but then seeing the explosion of views and subs has been really, really cool. So thank you very much. And since it's a new channel and a lot of new people here, I mean, basically everyone's new. Let's get to know each other a little bit. So do a little bit of question of the episode type thing. It's always fun. And uh, we'll start this off very simply. Where you're from and what is your current CK3 save? Just leave that down in the comments. Myself, of course, you can see my current CK3 save. On top of that, where am I from? Well, I live in the United States. I live in uh, the mountains of Colorado. Beautiful place to call home. Uh, but I'm also from Germany, uh, from the area around Münster. That's where most of my family lives and where I went to high school as well. So I, people that have been commenting, wow, your German pronunciations are great. It's because I'm also German. So there's that. So leave it in the comment. Get to know each other, where you're from, and what your current CK3 save is. So anyway, this is now post-patch and post so post the 1.1 patch and post the 1.12 hotfix. Um, and you can see a few little things on the interface are a little bit different. Overall, everything they've done has been fantastic. I thought about doing a video detailing the patch notes and going through them, but there are a lot of those out there. So, you know, go check out one Proud Bavarian or somebody like that. And uh, they, they've they they've got it or Havoc, uh, they all, he also has. Uh, the patch notes there, Lord Lambert, um, Enigmatic Rose, places you can go through the patch notes there. So anyway, we are back here with Sviatopolk. I do need to get back into this and remember what we're doing now. The, the map has changed a little bit. I'm not a big fan that this is kind of going over here, but maybe the map knows that Below Zero will gobble up Yaroslavl at some point. Now, the last war was costly. Not in, I mean, a little bit in manpower. I mean, down to 600 total soldiers, but we can build back up to 1,200. Uh, but predominantly in prestige, it really hurt. But the prestige, prestige is going to tick back up. We're uh, here in a war against the tyranny of King uh, Ivaslavl. I think uh, where we're defending. Uh, so, you know, of Ruthenia, our uncle, and the attacker is Count Ivan of Terra Bubble. So we could send soldiers, but we honestly, we just need to kind of regroup here a little bit. Uh, I mean, the Ruthenian War is all the way down here. So you can see there is the faction that uh, kind of declared independence. And But I, I'm pretty sure that uh, can get taken care of by, if I remember correctly, our father. So anyway, again, it's been a little bit. So I'm going to unpause the game now, move forward a little bit. We do have some consolidating to, to do, our manpower needs to go back up, but eventually want to gobble up some of these uh, tribal lands up here. So, uh, next up, let's uh, take a look, look here. Protect against factions. You've had a faction form against you, but do not panic. You still have time to set things right. Vassals and counties, join factions, etc. So, it's just a lesson. I understand. I don't know why I'm getting that. So, anyway, uh, we can host a feast. This will lose stress, but honestly, we don't have stress. Stress level used to be indicated over here. Remember, it took me a while to find it. Now, post-patch, it's right down here. And if I click on Sviatopolk, it's right here as well. So it's nice and easy to find, but we are not going to host a feast right now. Uh, can call a hunt, and this too will um, lower the stress. And it increases the prestige. It costs 17 gold. We have 132, so I think this is something we might do now. And search for a physician. I think uh, we can we can do a search there. So what other issues? Now we can declare a ton of wars, really on anybody around us, but we're still recovering. We're not endorsed by the bishop. Um, 
attempt to sway is improving his opinion of you. So we already are scheming to make his opinion go up. Too few of champions. Here we can recruit this guy. We, we still have slots available, but uh, this is really the only one we can recruit right now. Marshall of seven is poor. His prowess is average. He's a misguided warrior, so his marshal's up. He's a good organizer. It's really all we've got going for us right now. We need to add champions. It's going to cost us three gold, and uh, I think that's that's definitely worth it. Anything else, we, we can inherit all the titles, of course. We can negotiate an alliance with Prince Mitzislav. And let's negotiate that alliance, get that out of the way. And other than that, we will also sound the horn for the hunt, unpause, and get some of that prestige back here for us. We have to pull it. So our, our brother, we have, we are now allied with our brother, who I believe is also technically our liege. You can see he is our liege, but uh, we have levies, re taxes reduced because he's not really our proper rightful liege. So anyway, court physician, the world is full of dangers, even to a count in his court. As per my request, my servants have inquired after recommendations. Now they have assembled a few options to choose from. Uh, so Stepan, he would cost 50. Um, let's take a look at Stepan. He's a rational villain and wandering. He is a physician, so he's learning plus two. Uh, aspiring blade master. A four, I mean, this guy actually would be a pretty good soldier. And then we have uh, Vesslaf, who's a treacherous absolver. Amateurish plotter, zealous, forgiving, and arbitrary. I mean, let's go for the more expensive option. I know I'm blowing through a little bit of money here, but it's okay. We're we're getting three back a month. All right, hunt the foragers. The woods truly is the mantle of the poor, but as the heart flees in panic from foraging peasants, I feel my patience wearing thin. Surely there must be better things to do in Vologda than picking roots and mushrooms. Guards, drive the rabble out of my hunting grounds. Um, that would give us 150 prestige, or... You know, a donation would be. Let's see, what is he again? He is just greedy, temperate, indulgent rascal. So just would technically mean he'd give them money, but he's greedy. So we're going to drive the rabble from the hunting grounds and get some much needed. Um, oh, we've got a war going on under siege, but we're returning from the wild. Sorry. The hunt is drawing to an end. We mount our horses to leave the taiga behind as the servants prepare the heart and other game for the journey back. To heed the call of the wild is usually an adventure, and this outing truly delivered both the good and the bad in overabundance. Let us leave it behind us, and we gain 150 prestige. And bam! We are back in the bonus. So, uh, we can start a feast to increase people's opinion of us, but honestly, don't really need that right now. So we're gonna take a look and see. Now our liege is under attack here in Novgorod. Novgorod. And who is he fighting against? He's winning it. And it's the Suomuski, Suo, Suomenusko Uprising. So Finnish, Finno-Ugric peoples. And uh, things are going well overall, but you can see all these forces rising up uh, does not make me very happy. And we don't really have a ton of soldiers. Military. Mercenaries, we can't afford anybody. Let's raise all of our armies. And combine them here. Merge armies. We have 801 men. But look at the size of that uprising force. Now we do have a 
better military, but they just have way more guys. Um, where are they even coming from? I mean, it's an internal uprising, I believe, but uh, they are taking away our land. But right now, we would be completely screwed because of our manpower. So we just need to wait a little bit longer for our levies to increase. Soldiers gone down. The Carps. If it is a pond for carbs you are interested in, I can build you a terrific one, my lord. The builder before me has good credentials, and my courtiers seem to be very excited about the prospect. You have all the resources you need. That's a lot of money. Is that truly the best deal you can give me? So you gain 100 stewardship lifestyle, 20 opinion. Um... Lose stress, lose five opinion, but let's see if we can get a better deal. We lost 15, but we got a better deal, so that's nice. Uh, we are a little bit in trouble now. And let's move the army in here and start defending a little bit. Okay, where's... Where's that army going? So they're breaking up. So apparently in one, in this patch, there is an increase in the AI uh, behavior when it comes to military. All right, so he's moved out. We're gonna move down in here. You can see our Lord is now expanding out. Take care of this. All right, tourney troubles, tourney troubles. As Count, I've been obliged to attend a local wrestling tournament. But the contestants have been delayed. The tourney won't start for at least another hour. Looking around, I notice my nephew, Count uh, Rostislav, sitting under a nearby pavilion, clearly bored halfway to death. On the other hand, I could just pass the time by by reading scriptures while I wait. Um, scriptures, I mean, he's not overly pious. Wasted enough time. No, let's, let's hang out with uh, the nephew. Over taxation, cousin has been taken prisoner. Lost uh, this siege down here, but we're moving back down there to kind of take that over again. I'm getting used to the new map here. Let's zoom in, we've got soldiers coming in. It'd be nice if we don't lose. So we've got a large force coming in. Let's go to this battle. We're losing because they simply have more, and they I mean, their leaders must be significantly more powerful. So yeah. Lost another battle. Not great. Kind of control. Vibrant court unlock. Your dynasty has unlocked vibrant court. Great, but right now my vibrant court is getting its ass kicked. Stewardship perk available. And we are being raided. So let's go. Oh, our wife is pregnant. Fantastic. All right, perks. So, avaricious architect or administrator. Golden obligations. You can demand payment for hooks. Meritocracy, you can use claim thrown against your liege. Architect, cutting cornerstones, so construction cost, holding cost goes down across the board. Tax main, collect tax effectiveness plus 25. Now remember, he's greedy. Oh, he's got a beard now. Uh, so it's a greedy character is going to definitely want to go along with stuff that gets him money. Um... Let's see. I think the tax man is the way to go here. Bring in some additional money. So, I mean, we lost a battle, but uh, technically the war is being won. Um, looks like there's this Smolenskian conquest of the county of Luki. So, at the end of the day, the Rurikids are 
just under attack from all sides. I mean, the war down here is going really, really well. I mean, he's gonna, gonna, yeah, 100%. So, uh, that's, that, that war will be over here shortly, uh, would be my assumption. There we go. We won the war led by King Ivaslav of Ruthenia against Count Ivan of Terabovil. Um, will not join a faction for 10 years. Lost 30 opinion of Count Ivan. Okay, so be it. So that war is done. We still have wars going on up here. And Ransom. So... To the false Sviatopolk, I'm willing to release Vishatan from my care, but freedom does not come for free. Consider my offer. Pays 10. Who is this guy? He's a courtier. He. Oh, that's our schemer. Eh. Alright, so we're being raided. No, I'm not going to go on pilgrimage. Yes, low candy control. I, I, I understand that. But I also understand the fact that my troops are not available right now. And everybody that's attacking us is significantly more powerful. Newborn son! So we have a son. Yaropolk. Let's go with that one. Let's go with Yaropolk. Uh, but right now, it doesn't matter how many sons we have. We are here constantly in war. We are being raided non-stop. Um, but uh, the Suomensk uprising is a major issue. Smolensk. So the defender here is our liege. And the attacker is... Chieftain Gleb Sviato of Sm Sviatoslavovich. I really should play in a region where I could pronounce the names better. Um, so he's down here. Word of advice. I saunter between the market stalls of Below Zero. Uh, heavy pouch tugging at my belt. How do I make this coin work for me? As I admire the wares of a local smith, good steel, sound investment, my wife, Countess Jofia, suddenly appears at my side. A word of advice, husband. Have a look at the jeweler's stall over there. Their wares might be simple, but their potential is great. So we can invest in the smithy, invest in the jewelry workshop, and my wife becomes my friend. Turn a quick profit. No, let's invest in the jewelry. Uh, and that way now our Countess Sophia, whose opinion of Sviatopolk was not great, is now back to, well, it's very, very positive. Uh, dismiss the suggestion so we could raid, but right now we just can't. I mean, at the end of the day, the problem we have right now are all these uprisings. Our troops can't really do anything because once we move down here, these guys will just absolutely trounce us. Um, there's some more armies marching south. Uh, things are looking rather difficult. Okay, what do we have here? Accusations of sorcery. Bloodstained cloth, crow's feathers, strange smelling concoctions. This is the evidence presented to me by a group of villagers from Volokta as proof that Radoslav has been practicing sorcery in his hut on the outskirts of their village. The villagers claim his evil works must be the cause of the sick animals they are calling for his execution. Hmm. So that evidence is circumstantial. Release him. Of course, we'll upset peasants in Volokta. Uh, gain 300 stewardship. Um, because we're just burning him for his crimes against God is not great. Or we could bring him in as a sorcerer. Hmm. Satisfied pheasant, uh, pheasants, peasants. Let's see. 
upset peasants, popular opinion goes down. I think it's... Gotta go with the just characteristic. And, uh... But that's not really something we would do. So, I would like to very much help out... Our... Our liege. But the problem right now is there's not much we can do... And I don't even see where he has troops. Karachev, I mean, it's just all going on here. Uh, yes, I know I'm being raided, but there's not a lot I can do. Looks like there's a battle going on over here. I mean, everything is just falling to pieces here in Novgorod. Ruthenia is nice and strong, so no, no issues there. Polotsk as well. But again, Novgorod... Not, not doing well. I mean, it's it's all going on. Neighboring ruler lost war. Okay, I don't really care that much about him. Um, not gaining any any soldiers right now. Cousin released. An Aurora kid has left prison. I want to gain this back, but we're gonna be completely destroyed if we do that. Let's just disband our armies real quick and kind of recover. We need to get our levies up, and the only way to do that is to disband. Okay, new claimant. All the buffoonery I've ever seen in Radislav's inane efforts to improve my relations with my neighbors, my good for nothing chancellor has officially acknowledged Chieftain Pauli's claim of the county of Vologda. They're supposed to be. Making you friends, not enemies. Okay, so now the <laughs> the area that we gained, somebody else has a claim against it. And the war is being lost. So I don't quite know what that's going to do for us, but we just don't have the levies to do anything. A schema court... My spy master has come to me with grave news. While we do not yet know who, someone is plotting to kill me? Do we gotta stop that? Obviously. Uh, that needs Svetopol to die here from this scheme. Where's my council? Neighbor's war has been resolved. Okay. Call to war. My dear brother, I call you to honor our alliance in holy war for the chieftain of Trakai. Joins holy war. On decline. So here's the thing. <clears throat> now, declining wars loses you fame and opinion. Uh, it's going to cost us 75 prestige. Oh, it's he loses prestige. Renown, 168. Hmm. I mean, I'll accept this. Just because I don't believe we're in a position to turn it down. But right now, we, we just have significantly larger problems right at our doorstep. Um, so, Princess... Uh, Yefpraxia has joined the Holy War against Trakai. Where the hell is Trakai? Probably, probably be good to know. Oh, all the way down here. Oh, well. To get my soldiers there, I kind of have to go through, like, a ton of enemy troops. Let's take a look at and see how things are going. Radoslav has been swayed. Okay, good for you. So. So the Marios Womensko Uprising is not going well. It's a minus 12% war score. And then the Smolensk Lachina of Chernigov. The conquest of the county of Luki is going poorly. We just honestly... Dangerous faction 
There's nothing that will send ultimatum to you soon. Alright, who is a part of this? County of Valokta? County of... Uh-oh. You can unlock a new stewardship perk. Let's do that. Defensive measures. It's cutting cornerstones. Saving money. For a greedy character is definitely important. We're going to be in, in a world of hurt here very, very soon. If we look at the intrigue. So the sway is, so we have a 5% chance of success to try to kill us. We've got no hooks and secrets. Still the steward there. Going to assign her to take care of patronage for us. We just have a relatively weak council. I know I'm being raided, and there's just not a whole heck of a lot I can do about it. Just waiting for our levies to go up. But right now, I mean, what's this war here? Oh, these are... Estonians are raiding. All right. Gotcha. So, I think it's time to raise all armies and do something. Um, the problem is the people that are fighting against us are just crazy powerful. And I don't see us having much luck. But let's move over here to Volokta. Boost military presence. Can the Vyazich gain military presence plus five years? Four or five years of time despite our marshal's average marshal skill. Well, well, that's good. I want to go down here and free that county. But you can already see that these armies are pushing north. Uh, they're kind of just hanging out there. Strategically, I feel like if I move back down here, the larger army will come back to us. So here you can see a uh, Ford River Crossing there. I want to make it to the Loathsome Prince of Yatopolk. We have been burdened with your oppressive laws for far too long. No more. We are done paying you taxes. Once your coffers dry up and your larders are empty, you will wish you had treated us more fairly. I, don't, I haven't even done much. All right. I guess I could grant you a tax lien. So control level will change by minus 75 and increase autonomy for 10 years. So the control growth is minus 50% popular opinion goes up. So the peasant rabble starts a war. Every county in the faction in the control level will change by minus five. Spawns an army of peasant rebels proportional to the county's levies. So that would be these guys here and those guys there. So it's an uprising from two areas. Plus we are in wars that we are losing. But the character is greedy, but just temperate I feel like we're going to have to give him give them the tax lien so the faction is disbanded um, and we need to see what we can do to try to win back our county we've got Another attack. I mean, they're just going after Novgorod right now. I mean, our liege is in th basically three different wars. Okay. And things are looking bad here. So let's move back down here in another attempt to get our county back. In the hopes 
But those finno ugric tribes don't come in and beat the crap out of us again. Um, oh, it's gonna take ten months. We just have to try to get this county back, and it's just going to take a while. Let's see the lay of the land. We've got a battle down here that doesn't really affect us. There's an, uh, hostile. Your liege won their war against leader Nalka. Okay, so that's one war done. What's this? Call to war. Oh my god. Holy war for the chieftain of Nilant. Alright, fine. Can we just, just finish a war before we start another one? Oh. So, because that war ended, we our county is back under our control. Okay, so what, what we got going on here? Nilant. Anyway, you know what? Uh, a lot's happened, and not a lot has happened. Uh, but I feel like there is there are a lot of issues going on here. Uh, we'll have to take a look. I mean, look at the size of that. I mean, those two combined is over 4,000. There's absolutely no chance in hell that we have in doing anything there. So we need to reconvene. Look at the strategy here. Uh, Novgorod is under an immense amount of pressure. Also here in Polotsk. And come back in the next episode here with the Rus in Sviatopolk, who somehow dodged a gazillion bullets, uh, almost losing and... Uh, war and then uprisings and, and now everyone's cool again so yeah um, a lot happened next time we need to reform a strategy to help our liege and brother half brother uh, Stitzlaf of Ruthenia to get a little bit more control and then look at expanding because right now there's just no expanding going on we want to go back out here and move against these guys the tribes up north but there's just not enough power base at this time so anyway please hit that like button if you enjoyed the series despite things going haywire at one time and us being essentially in four different wars right now subscribe if you're new to them is anything on the channel until next time i am realm builder guy goodbye